In today's video, how to get rid of the excess fat on your sides and take your lower back from looking like this to looking more like this. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Vella from ProPhysique.com. I'm here today in Tampa in the Pro Physique studio and what I'd like to talk about is a question I got on my Instagram direct message. So as you guys know, you know, I like to focus on things like building muscle, losing body fat, and so what happens is I tend to get a lot of questions from people who have lost a lot of body fat but are still kind of left thinking, man, it's not what I, I envisioned it being. So let's talk a little bit about today's question and if you guys have questions for me, go right here on my Instagram, send it to me. And if you do me a favor, hit subscribe if you're enjoying this content from a coach who's just here to help. I currently weigh 202 pounds. In high school, my max weight was 302 pounds. As you can tell, I've lost a substantial amount of weight. I'm trying to get lean and shredded. How can I get rid of this excess fat on the sides and form my body so I can be more confident in myself? I work out, I have a great split going right now, five times a week, but I think my problem is when it comes to food and eating. I don't really eat that much, maybe once or twice a day. I could use all the advice and help I could get. So you gave me a lot of information here and I think it's a very common thing. You know, you can lose a lot of weight without really being too diligent on your diet. You know, fasting has become very popular. If you're eating once or twice a day, what happens is you naturally, through creating these eating windows, well, you turn yourself into a fat burning machine because you're eating so few calories because you're just focusing on those windows, but the real problem becomes you don't really have accountability. If you're fasting, that's wonderful. There's a lot of benefits to fasting. However, one of the problems with fasting is that now we're actually not getting accountability with calories. Now, you can combine fasting with also tracking during your eating windows, and this is what I actually recommend you start doing, because to lose the, bat, the, the fat on the lower back, you know, I see your picture at 200 pounds and you're a relatively lean guy. That is the area of the body for most men, myself included, which I, I included those pictures. So maybe I'll put some video here where you can see that the fat is going off my obliques, off my lower back. That is, for myself, one of the last things to go. Even now, I'm pretty lean right now, you know, 218, 220 pounds. Um, I, I have it, I, I have that little bit of lower back fat. I don't, I don't love it, but honestly for me, that is a place where I can maintain a physique where I feel very confident and good about myself and I'm okay with a little bit of that, you know, sticking out of my, um, my, my posing trunks or my, you know, if I'm at the beach, my board shorts. Because if you've been dieting for a long time and lost a lot of weight like you have with 100 pounds, you might need to spend a little bit of time in maintenance. And during that time in maintenance, you can do some things like build up your shoulders, build up your chest and back to give yourself more of that shape because I think what you're implying here with your question is that you would like to improve your overall shape. Well, nothing is better for long-term health and well-being than lean body mass, okay? Muscle is the fountain of youth. And so it also is going to help your confidence when you're walking around. If people are more focused on your traps and your delts, maybe they don't even notice that you got a little bit of extra right there above the short line. So understanding that while fasting, losing weight, all these things have so much benefit. Ultimately, when it comes down to reaching a physique that is in the upper 1%, which if you're a man and you get your lower back shredded, kudos to you, that's gonna require a bit more level of dedication, tracking your caloric intake, being aware of your recovery, your activity levels, understanding that Ultimately, it's just about creating a caloric deficit. That caloric deficit is going to pull the fat off your body. I still firmly believe that movement is the best vehicle to get there. I am not someone that believes that anybody can get shredded just by restricting calories. No, you have to move, you have to be active, you have to be athletic to actually have a physique that is you know, enviable, that you can actually look at and think, wow, you know that guy does work. If you just try to eat super low calories and lose body fat, you're gonna end up with a physique that doesn't have much definition, much shape to it. Uh, the word skinny fat comes to mind. You know, it's great, you got low body fat, but you also don't have any shape. So keep up the great work with the training. Start paying perhaps a little bit more attention to diet. You know, if, if you are doing the fasting, Maybe you need to increase your protein intake. You know, the one thing about a small eating window is sometimes it's hard to get enough protein to actually, you know, stimulate protein synthesis. You know, the research shows that, you know, 
let's say it's around 0.8 grams per pound of lean body mass is about the minimum you know maybe maybe a little more maybe a little less but you know if you if you're getting around your body weight in protein for someone like you who's relatively lean or around your target weight in protein that's a good place to start but that can be tough when you have a smaller eating window also one thing i have found with people that kind of fast and um you know even myself when i've restricted calories and i get a little bit ravenous that's when i go off plan that's when i reach for things that i normally wouldn't reach for just because i have to have something okay so hopefully this helps you if you really don't know where to start i have a free calorie calculator on my website and guys a few things we've got the transformation challenge starting in january okay i wanted to start it in august but you know because of the stuff with the virus and travel restrictions my digital ninja troy wasn't able to get over to the united states until just this week so we've got a lot of projects in the works and one of them is a free macro calculator. All right guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow.